Welcome back to Hannity. So last night, just hours after the New York grand jury decided not to indict an NYPD officer regarding the death of Eric Garner, well, NBC News host Reverend Al Sharpton quickly stepped in front of the microphone, and this is what the news host said. How many people have to die before people understand this is not an illusion, this is a reality that America has got to come to terms with. We are not advocating violence, we are asking that police violence stop. Now, meanwhile, Milwaukee County Sheriff Dave Clark thinks that race relations in America become strained only because of the Obama administration's class warfare illusion. Watch this. Race is an explosive issue in this country. Has been for a long time. I don't know if it's going to get better, but it had, it was improving. There's just no doubt about that. Anybody that uh, would deny that is not living in reality. But that wound has been opened again. And some of it is because of the divisive politics that the White House has been playing. You know, look at the political strategy that it's gone on. It's, it's this fictitious war on women, pitting men against women, this uh, fanning the flames of racial discord, uh, pitting whites against blacks, this class warfare, the 1%, the rich, tax the rich, on and on and on is pitting American against American. Here with reaction is the one and only Ann Coulter. How are you? I'm um, great. I want to ask you because there, there are two ways to look at the Eric Garner case. Then we can look at it emotionally. I'll tell it, you how to look at it. You, 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 have, you tell me. You're Go the ahead. only one who has, yeah. who has been right about this. This is nonsense that this had anything to do with race. This is a tax case. It was Bloomberg that insists on, we're going to deploy the police to collect taxes because they need to pay the pensions of their public sector union bodies. Bloomberg starts arresting all of these people. And notice, which case did the left, did MSNBC, did the New York Times obsess with. Everyone who has seen that tape of Eric Garner says, oh my gosh, they have five cops for untaxed cigarettes? But that's not the case the New York Times is interested in. That's not the case that, that MSNBC is interested in. No, it's a guy who's in Ferguson who's trying to kill a cop. I mean, the Garner case is almost everything the left falsely said about Mike Brown. He really does seem to be a gentle giant. Oh, we had 31 arrests. Yeah, they're all for selling untaxed cigarettes. Notice that the left wing, you will never see fascism like, like a liberal Liberal trying to collect taxes. I'll give you another example. Um, the Easy Pass records. Isn't that something everyone, both on the left and the right, said? Okay, we'd like Easy Pass, but we don't want the cops using that. The ACLU will go to court to prevent Easy Pass records from being used in a rape case, in a murder case. But you know what Easy Pass records are used for all the time? To collect taxes, to prove you were in New York more than you said you were in New York. There are a million cases like this. It has nothing. I can prove it's not. It has nothing to do with rape. See, I because said usually this. it's Indians. The cops are roughing up for selling untaxed cigarettes. Nine out of the 31 <laughs> arrests of Eric Gardner for for selling untaxed cigarettes. Now, and here's point the, out, but this is important. If we knew, if instead of selling untaxed cigarettes, um, Eric Gardner had been um, accused or guilty of assault, a rape. Well, then you wouldn't say that was undue force. What is shocking about that videotape is, are you kidding me? This is for selling untaxed cigarettes? Do not stand between a liberal and his taxes, because that's how they pay for their beloved public sector unions and their ridiculous pensions. You see, $6 a pack state and city taxes for one pack yeah. of cigarettes. Oh, yeah. So they have, been, they have created a black market. Yeah. All right? And you know what? I don't blame people for going to North Carolina. They don't want to give the money to the government. Now, now, it's Indian even worse. What people don't understand is they send cops into stores right. every single day in New York to see if they have the New York tax stamp. Right. And if not, they're they're giving them summonses right. and arresting them. Right. No, this, this is, is what a waste shocking, of police resources. This is the shocking part about this story. And to say that this wouldn't have happened if he, he was white, um, no, I will it's correct you because usually it's Indians because they're allowed to sell untaxed cigarettes on reservations. But oh, we have to make sure you're only selling to other Indians. Um, there have been huge busts. There have been cops roughing up Indians in the past. I was looking up cases today on Nexus. This is not something new. This is standing between a liberal and collecting taxes. And why wasn't the New York Times and the and MSNBC going more on this case than on 
a really not very good case from the beginning with Mike Brown and Ferguson. I mean, we ha saw that tape of him roughing up the uh, the poor clerk. the yep. poor clerk from the moment anybody saw that. Um, this is actually a lovely family. The stepfather was like the molecular opposite of Mike Brown's father stepfather. Um, the stepfather in in Ferguson yelling, "Burn this B down!" immediately after the verdict to an angry crowd. And by the way, they then did burn the B down. Um, compared to the stepfather last night, who was absolutely magnificent. What a lovely man. Sad. And he said, I do not want to see um, mm. any violence that would not honor my son's or, or my stepson's But I want to put emphasis on this because I, I, people are going to hear you. Why are they fixating on this? Because of taxes. Okay, but this is important because there's both sides of the tax issue here. People don't need to understand this. Six dollars a pack. Yeah. All right. If, if somebody's addicted to cigarettes, they're going to... It's expensive. It's now an expensive habit. Yeah. All right. So why don't they just ban They cigarettes? created the market. Now on the yeah. other side of it, they go after the store owners. They yeah. are not letting go that money. Oh, and yeah. so we have cops that should be ch chasing crack, heroin dealers, gang members, right. murderers, rapists. Right. No, they're out spending their time because the revenue is so great as it relates right. to tax revenue from cigarettes for New York no, State. No, that's and City. right. Why don't they just ban taxes? No, they want the tax money. Again, they have to fund the public sector union pensions. And only in this, a case like this do liberals not mind if, if the police get a little rough. It would, uh, well, it's not like it was something minor, like a rape or a murder. This is someone not paying taxes. Yeah. No, send in, we'll use neutron bombs to collect taxes. It's unbelievable. Uh, I want to play Charles Barkley for you. He defends uh, officers him. during an interview uh, from yesterday. Watch this. The notion that white cops are out there just killing black people, that's ridiculous. It's just flat out ridiculous. And I challenge any black person to uh, try to make that point. This notion that cops, the cops are actually awesome. You know, they're the only thing in the ghetto from uh, between the, this place being the wild, wild west. So this notion that cops are out there just killing black men, it's ridiculous. And I hate that narrative coming out of that, out of this entire situation. Right on. Not only right on, but it, this is, um, it dovetails with my column this week titled, um, you know, Black People the Media Hate, and Rand Paul isn't wild about. Um, when I wrote my book, M Mugged, about racial demagoguery and a bunch of these liberal racial demagoguery, a lot of these famous cases that were allegedly racist cases, in almost every one of them, you would find incredibly decent, honorable, and I would add brave black people testifying on behalf of the allegedly racist white person, Bernie Getz, or various cops who ended up shooting a black kid. Um, they testified. They told the truth. It was in the Bernie Getz case, there was a woman on the, with her husband, husband and child on the That's subway right. card with Bernie Getz, um, and she testified before the jury, um, no, those punks were bothering the white man. The, those punks deserved what they got. Uh, Bernie Getz's lawyer did not try to exclude blacks from the jury. They like blacks who have jobs and are married, because who are the ones who are set upon by black criminals the most? People who live in black neighborhoods. And these idiotic campaigns by people like Rand Paul thinking he's speaking for, for, for black people by saying, oh, we have to get rid of the drug laws. There are too many blacks and brown in prison. It's because of their skin color. No, who pushed for those drug laws? It was black people themselves. They are the ones whose neighborhoods were being destroyed by crack cocaine. All right, Ann Coulter, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. And coming up next tonight on a busy news night here on Hannity. We're not just dealing with a problem in 2014. We're not dealing with years of racism leading up to it or decades of racism. We are, leading, we are dealing with centuries of racism that have brought us to this day. New York City Mayor Comrade Bill de Blasio stokes racial tension in the wake of the New York grand jury decision about Eric Garner's death. Wait until you hear what former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani had to say about those comments and then later tonight. I never got a call from the city, never got a call from anybody letting me know that I should protect my things. And if I would have been here in my building, I actually could have died because there's no back entrance to my door. And they looted it and burned it from the front. A video you will only see right here tonight on Hannity. We sent our team of producers and David Webb back to Ferguson to talk to the small business owners in the wake of last week's riots. Why isn't the media paying more attention to them? That and more as Hannity continues.